Hello everyone, and welcome to my Emmerdale News YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. When Tom King horrifyingly hit Bell Dingle in the stomach in Emmerdale, he clearly revealed his hand. He then made sure she was admitted to the hospital. His eerie artistry is now starting to hide his footprint. Now that his violent tendencies are clearly visible, Tom finds himself in an unusually precarious situation. He only needs to tell someone what he's done and have them believe Bell, and then he's done. Has he done enough to protect himself, even if he set the stage for this by severing her from her loved ones and eroding her mental stability? Probably not after realizing that controlling Bell is going to be a new issue. When someone offers to pay her a visit, she says she would prefer Lydia Dingle to Tom. Emmerdale viewers are aware that two distinct viewpoints of the same event were presented at a special dinner party that aired last night, Tuesday, May 7. Rona and Marlon had one perspective on the night, and Belle and Tom had the other. Following Rona's dissolution of their marriage, a recent fan theory asserts that Marlon will suffer another stroke. Last night, Rona and Marlon attended Belle and Tom's dinner party at their home, despite the fact that their relationship is now strained. Rona, on the other hand, was unable to control her feelings and instead expressed her dissatisfaction with Marlon. Before long, she and Marlon got into a heated argument at the dinner table during which she declared her preference for Ivy over him. Rona intended to leave the dinner party after this, but Marlon persuaded her to stay. After saying this, Rona informed Marlon that their marriage was ending. Fans of the soap opera are concerned that Marlon's recent stress levels could cause him to become unwell, given that he and Rona ended their marriage over a dinner table. Given Rona's recent behavior, they believe he may be having another stroke. If Marlon isn't careful, he could have another stroke. A fan conjured up the scenario. He is not doing well right now due to the stress. I hope Marlon doesn't have another stroke with the stress, said someone another. The plot carried on for far too long the last time. Marlon, your pettiness is going to bring on either a heart attack or another stroke, exclaimed a third viewer lately. Marlon has been under a lot of stress as a result of his recent arguments with Rona about Gus and Ivy. Could this bombshell cause another stroke, given that his marriage ended over a dinner table? This makes Tom feel confused. Mandy Dingle and Lydia have both noticed changes in Belle, and he is aware that it won't take much for Lydia to understand Belle's story given her own horrific experiences with abuse. At all costs, Tom needs to get Lydia to quit seeing Belle. To regain control, he needs to come up with a fresh strategy to put distance between the two. He wants to learn surprising EastEnder spoilers first. For Coronation Street, who is departing? The most recent rumors from Emmerdale. Come chat with 10,000 other fans of Metro Soap Operas on WhatsApp Soap's community to gain access to exclusive interviews, must-watch videos, and spoiler galleries. You only need to click this link. Choose Join Chat and you're in. Remember to enable alerts so you may be informed when we've published new spoilers. Sadly, Tom is simply too astute for Belle. In an attempt to stop her from meeting Lydia and discovering what a monster he is, he schemes against her and devises a fail-safe strategy. To what extent will he go to avoid Lydia Ace She at Risk actor Louis Cope of Emmerdale revealed shocking information on Thursday's episode of Lorraine, setting up a dramatic plot for his character Nikki Milligan. In later scenes, which air on Thursday night, Nikki is discovered unconscious by his aunt Maura Dingle next to his totaled car, leading him fighting for his life. When the car crashes, it is being driven by his inebriated friend Ethan Anderson, but Ethan makes it out alive. But in a sickening act of betrayal, Ethan drags Nikki out of the car, abandons him, and takes off. He observes as Mora arrives and discovers an injured Nikki, 
Promptly phoning life for is still in danger. Ethan flees back to the village rather than lending a hand or staying to assist him or Mora. Given that Nikki is left battling for his life after the collision, it is unclear from the spoilers whether he lives. Well, look, we don't want to give anything away because Emmerdale is obviously on tonight at 7.30 p.m. Host Lorraine Kelly stated during her appearance on Thursday's Lorraine. Lewis, the Nikki actor, responded, Maybe I'm dead. I just hope you're still going to be with us because we know that the car crash is going to be a bad one. Lorraine squeal at this, saying, No, don't say that. Say nothing. Say nothing at all. Lewis then said, We'll find out. Now we have to. Well, we'll all be watching anyway. So nice to see you. Lorraine went on. Next week's spoilers reveal the dramatic aftermath with Nikki's anxious parents, Ruby and Caleb, keeping watch by his hospital bedside as he fights for his life. Ethan feels bad since his family, who didn't know he was in the crash, is praising him before he starts his new work. Nevertheless, as he ushers his son inside the church for an open discussion, Ethan's father, Viker Charles Anderson, quickly detects his son's unease and concerns. Soon after, Charles is taken aback when Ethan confesses that he was behind the wheel when Nikki was involved in an accident. To make matters worse, he finds out that Ethan plans to tell lies to the police and seeks an alibi. At the hospital, Ruby tells Mora about Nikki's condition as the two become closer after their argument. Ruby also wants retribution for Nikki's accident, with Caleb and the protective mother promising to find out who was driving. A major turn of events occurs later in the week when Ethan is arrested for Nikki's accident. He is heartbroken to learn his own father has betrayed him and has reported him to the authorities. When Ruby sees Ethan arrested, she becomes enraged and realizes that he must have been the driver of Nikki's automobile. Charles starts to second guess his choice after Ethan's arrest, witnessing the destruction Ethan causes to his family. After initially appearing on the ITV serial opera three years ago in 2021, what will happen next? And is this really Ethan's last episode? Next week, Emmerdale will debut a thrilling new quadunit narrative in honor of the show's 10,000th episode. On Wednesday, May 22, the ITV soap opera will air episode 10,000. To commemorate the milestone, there will be a lot of turmoil. The village comes together for a fete in Emmerdale's special episode, but the celebrations are quickly overshadowed by the simmering tensions over Nikki Milligan's injuries in a car accident. After being charged with causing the collision that left Nikki with serious injuries last week, Ethan Anderson was taken into custody. It was Charles, Ethan's father, who had to give the police the whole truth about what had actually transpired. More bad news for Nikki's family arrives the next week when the doctors inform them that he is not yet capable of emerging from his coma. Later, when Kane, Caleb, and Ruby see Ethan in the village with his father Charles, they all appear to be bloodthirsty and very hungry for vengeance. Ethan gets into a purposeful hit and run on the day of the fete, leaving him bleeding and battered in the street. Determined not to be apprehended, the offender drives off the scene quickly. Later, when a beaten Ethan hobbles along Main Street before fainting, onlookers taking in the celebration are appalled. When Ethan comes to, his family is asking a lot of questions, but he won't admit that he saw his attacker. Kane, Caleb, and Ruby, the three most plausible suspects, all keep an eye on the action from a distance. Did any of them decide to handle things on their own? Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.